Okay, in this video we're just going to look at how we can remove dead tracks from 4-channel audio in DaVinci Resolve. And we've already done this in um, Adobe Premiere, so if you use Premiere I'll link up into the corner and really that's the video for you. And essentially this is just because, um, you know, on the Lumix cameras you generally, they're going to record, or the newer ones anyway, they're going to record 4-channel audio and if you're not using the XLR1 adapter then they'll just be dead channels. So what I'll do is I'll just bring a clip in and we can kind of see. So if we come into here, we're just in the edit tab so we can just come in and edit. Um, I've just brought it up to here. So the the probably the best way to do it or I mean let's say if you've already got your um, if you've already got your edit already sort of laid out um, the way you'll probably have to do it is by selecting the tracks individually and deleting it so let's say you've got multiple clips all sort of laid out on the timeline already um, the way you're going to want to do it is um, it's just by holding down the alt key and just selecting the dead tracks so um, the Alt key will give you an individual track. If you hold Alt, um, hold down Alt to select your first track, and then hold down Shift as well, uh, so Alt and Shift, and then that will give you the ability to basically select two tracks that are individual, and then you can just hit the Delete key or right right click it, and uh, just delete selected. Either way you want to do it. And then that's those two tracks gone. But if you're at the start of a project, it's probably better if you will just drag in another clip up here. Uh, what you can actually do is you can right click on the clip when it's up here and you can go to clip attributes. And then it's usually by default, it'll be on video, but you just want to come across to the audio tab. And then you can see here, we've got all, all our audio options. So. Um, what, what we can actually do is just come here, you can see this bin if we just highlight over it. We can just bin the last two, do that, and then bring that in, and you can see it's not brought it in with those extra tracks. Um, and then if we actually get rid of that clip and we'll, we'll just bring that same clip back in. So this clip now has got four audio channels again. Uh, what you can do if you want to do it for all your clips, so you've just brought everything in, you can actually hold shift down, select two two clips or more, you know, however many you want, however many you've got in the timeline, right click, follow the same process again, clip attributes, just remove these two tracks that you don't need under the audio tab, hit OK, and when you drag them into your timeline, you've got that kind of just the two tracks you wanted and the two dead tracks are gone. So it's just a much cleaner way to work, you know, like you don't really want two dead tracks of audio if you want to be putting on, uh, you know, music over the top. You might have multiple layers of music, you might have Foley, sound effects, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it just keeps your audio tracks nice and clean where you, you just don't want those dead tracks there because they, they kind of serve no purpose at all so yeah hopefully that's been helpful if it has give the video a like and um, if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe